旅行绝对不光是看风景，更多的是关于人和文化。每次你了解一个人，就对文化多一分了解。在巴黎，其实我并不熟。但是只要你对巴黎的文化好奇，巴黎人还是非常友善的。每次我在巴黎交一个朋友，就对这个城市多了一分了解。Welcome to the Chicago Hotel Paris. Thank you very much. May I show you the, the hotel? Yes, Give you a tour of the hotel. I would love to. We're going to go through the, the lobby. This was Roland Bonaparte's house. And Roland uh -huh. Bonaparte is a great nephew of, of Napoleon Bonaparte. So 1896 was the time when he built that home. And he's really the one he built is this he very place. eccentric? A, a little bit, a little bit. Even okay. with the facade, you know, when you see the facade outside, there's a lot of details, there's a lot of extra things that uh, you would not necessarily have on a, on a building like this. The whole place has been uh, restored and went through four years of, uh, of renovation. Four years. That's a long time. It's probably it's a more costly process than building a new building, I assume. Definitely. Very喜欢。我已经听很多法国客人跟我说到说，哎，你要去巴黎的话，你法国菜吃腻了，我们请你去香宫吃啊。我还吓一跳，我说，哎，这香宫这名字很熟啊，但是。闹了半天就是香格里拉的，就是您这儿。Am I supposed to work after this, or we're done for the day? No, it's a fencing ring. <laughs> Welcome to our Shangri-La suite. Wow, wow! Look at the view. Oh my God. Let me introduce you to François Perret, our pastry chef. Monsieur Enchanté. Enchanté, bienvenue. Merci, c'est vieux. What do you recommend? This. This? Yeah. Okay. And this. And that, okay. Uh, this. This is the end of our tour. This is... We are entering Roland Bonaparte's apartment, which is now our imperial suite. Oh my God. This is the tallest hotel room I have ever seen in my life. It's amazing. And here's a dining area. This is the dining room, yes. <gasps> it's huge. It is absolutely restored according to the way it was before. Indeed, and, and this part is also classified. We cannot touch it without uh, seeking permission from, uh, from the state. But this is great. I mean, you don't get this. You will never, this is irreplaceable. 